I was trying to tell Kiki, like, bro, I probably wouldn't have been a hoe if I wouldn't have listened to y'all music as a child. Because y'all, y'all taught me how to gaslight and tell this woman, everything will be fine if you just stay down. That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> but I'm good at it. <laughs> and it's all, it's all them niggas' fault. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. He also knew these my street niggas, but this the nigga I can't do business with. In these rooms right here, it was so many niggas the way you didn't know who was who. You might have had your street niggas and you knew who they was, but these rooms, when you this big, you got 10 niggas with money bag too that you don't know. It's just like, man, here go another nigga with some ice on his chain. If, if I could change everything all over again, I would have walked in them bitches looking like CeeLo Green. At, I mean, not CeeLo, uh, Jermaine Dupri at the Super Bowl. <laughs> I, had, I did something to make myself stand out. Like, bitch, you going to remember me. <laughs> but I was forgettable. Let me just say that. That's hard. That's hard, but it's real. And, and, I, and it's good that you take notice to how, you know, who you are. Your self-evaluation is real. You know, mm -hmm. self-awareness. That's a real thing. And, and I, I think that's hard that you look back, reassess, and say, you know, if I'd have did this. Because now when you're in those situations, you know how to conduct and what you need to do to be yeah. successful. I'm start showing up with cowboy hats on. On the ass. Ice that. No shirt either. Nigga going to not want to be in the studio with me. Man, hey, get this nigga up out the studio. <laughs> man, man I, let me ask you this, man. Um, uh, we lost a real one down there, a uh, big pokey, man. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the sensei, like, like, when you seen that, because it happened on the internet, and I know it messed with Kiki bad, because that was his boy, that was his right-hand man, like they always was together on interview videos, doing their thing, you know what I'm saying, their era, you know, mm -hmm. S-U-C and all. Like, what did you what did you think when you seen that happen? I I hated that shit, and I thought it was fake at first. I, I was hoping it was fake. Then when I found out it was real, I learned a I learned a lot. Like, some people probably took it, like, for what it was on some internet shit. But for me, when certain people die, I just realized how short life is. Wow. Yeah, me too. And I'm a I'm a big Pokey fan. Like, I'm a real, I'm a DJ. So, uh, keep my name out your mouth. Keep my name out your mouth. Bitch, you know my name. The sensei, I'm uncut, off the chain. And Brenham at a club called Blackwater 15 years ago used to be uh, what, what fucking, uh, in that was like our NBA Young Boy record of, or, or, or whoever got the hottest song gonna wear a Drake record right now. That was that bitch that used to keep my name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. when Poke died, I was just like, damn. And you know, Poke went old and nothing like that. Mm -mm. You feel me? But um, you know, for the legends we do got, I love being able to call a Kiki. I called Kiki came to my birthday, my birthday party. Yeah, I seen that. Week. I seen it. I told him to his face. I told Kiki, I say, man, y'all was the best gaslighters. Wow. And he was like, what you mean, shows? I was like, well, I listen to um, Fat Pat if you only knew in that second verse. No key place we meet, you never been before. Adding spice to your life, feelings can't ignore my soul. He was, he was, he was worse than me, and I didn't know that them old niggas was gaslighting like that, cause. Mm -hmm. Cause they say we gas like, but he like if you could be my baby, baby if you keep it real. Yeah. And he talking about how he got another bitch and this bitch and I'm like, man, y'all niggas gas like, man. I see where I get this shit from. Man, Pat Pat, man, you gotta understand a lot of, <laughs> lot of, a lot of people, a lot of people to be real with you, they they tend to forget that they'll say, man, Zero, he was the first one singing like that, but really to me it was Fat Pat. I'm so cold in the game. Southside players screw up, click main with the body sit. Man, how say I'm chilling you know with saying? my bro? Mm -hmm. And you already know. For real. Yeah. Deep. Yeah, them niggas what? was singing there early, for man. Real, for real. I'm chilling with my broad and you already know. And if you wanna reach me, hit me on the dime low. I was trying to tell Kiki, like, bro, I probably wouldn't have been a hoe if I wouldn't have listened to y'all music as a child. Cause y'all y'all taught me how to gaslight and tell this woman everything will be fine if you just stay down. That's a lie. That's a <laughs> 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 but I'm good at it. <laughs> and it's all, 
It's all them niggas' fault. I heard from Kiki. I was like, man, I looked in his eyes and said, hey, man, y'all niggas started this gaslighting shit, bro. Now I'm out here gaslighting, but it's your fault. Wow. They just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you stupid as hell. <laughs> Let me ask you this, man, because you down there, man, and you watch the game because you you're a student of the game. Um, when it come down, you know, power a white boy. Mm -hmm. But when you see him, when I first heard him, I thought he was black. It's the people's champ. I'm something like a bowler. Bowler. The candy paint dripping out for the old school and power. Be honest with you. I'm right. being real. I thought he was a black dude. I heard him on the radio when I mm -hmm. first heard him. Mm -hmm. I met him. We've hung out a few times. Uh, like, when you see him and the way he is with the culture down in Houston and what he's done, what do you think as far as when it come down to Pow Wow, you know, in his, his movement? I love Pow Wow, and I feel like, I know I said what I said about how everybody shouldn't be accepted, but I feel like Pow Wow, one of them people that's of hip hop. I didn't think you about you said that, for sure. So when I say that, I'm speaking on people that's not of hip hop, that's just benefiting off of it. I think Pow Wow is of hip hop. He should be, and he is accepted, because we know he's <coughs> of you you know what I'm saying? He, nigga get talking about I'm on that five nine South Lee. Anybody that know about five nine South Lee know you shouldn't be on five nine South Lee. Since Bow Wow, baby, what you know about me? I'm on that five nine South Lee. Baby, he's so I uh, he too close to have a star. <laughs> My cousin stay over there right by him. He too close to have a star. He too close to to the. So when he said that, I'm like he 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 ain't just talking, you know. And I I'm a big fan of um. One of my favorite songs is um just the other day with him and uh Camille, right? I'm not the type that likes to think about the time I was broke and reminisce how everybody thought my rhyme was a joke. Me and Camille a beast too. When I'm ballin', 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 from the lack is crawling, now the rest is calling. So as I'm listening, it's it's like they shit was I man, Pow Wow was rapping too. Oh and yeah, what I'm for saying sure. is, he had to be. Man, we shouldn't just be accepting any kind of dumb shit. But when you ask about Paul, I love Paul. Um, early on, before I was anybody, Paul gave me a verse. And wow. Respected me just like Kiki did, um, Slim did. Like, I'm I'm just, you know, it took some of the legends a while, but I just be happy that it came about because I ain't got no negative, no envy for these niggas. You know, at early on, I might have had a, I might have felt the way about like a row or something, but when we finally met, and I finally went to Row House. It came down, we talked, and I realized, like, man, man, them niggas, them niggas wasn't hating on me. They ain't had no problem with me. Them niggas was just in their bag, like I'm in right now. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.